if you know Penguin Zero, Moist Critical, Charlie, he posts on YouTube twice a day, every single day, weekdays, weekends, doesn't matter. He streams on Twitch pretty much every day as well. And he doesn't edit his videos that much. It's just him talking to the camera in his room, no music. It's just cut together. There's no zooms, there's no text, there's no animation or anything fancy. Just jump cuts from one clip to the next to trim out the pauses and the fat in the middle. And he's getting about a million views per video or more. Some of them three to four. I mean, obviously it took him over 10 years to get here. So he's been doing this for a very long time. It's just, he goes against what you're taught in YouTuber schools, right? Like any YouTube school course, whatever you want to call it, they teach, you got to work on your thumbnail a lot. It's really important the title and the thumbnail should come even before you script the video. And then you try to keep your viewers attention through fast, good editing and choose the right music, edit to the music. Like it's just so different. He's just doing it so differently from what the typical YouTuber is doing. If you look at YouTubers who are doing well, they usually hire editors. They usually have a team behind them. Having said that, I don't watch Charlie's video from beginning to end usually and if I do I just watch the beginning what he says and some of his opinions and then I click off. I'm not even a huge fan of every piece of content he puts out. There's there's so much to consume. I just see hot topics like Twitch is dead or something like that, right? I'll click on that and see what he has to say and she shares the news. It's absolutely insane that he exists as a successful YouTuber and it's inspirational. The most time I spent on a video was two weeks and if you take out the time that I wasted not working on my video, it was a solid week every day of working on my video from script, mostly the script because the script took the longest part. It doesn't, it just doesn't do that well. That, that video was the video on procrastination. I write a script in about 30 minutes about Charlie and Mr. Beast, Jimmy, edit something together in an hour or two. So that took like, what, three hours total? Posted that and that was my most successful video to this day with such positive comments and encouragement saying, oh dude, just keep this up, keep the posting up and you're gonna make it because this is really great. And it was really encouraging. But then again, I just, that was a one-off. I'm not the commentating type. I don't have a lot to say on other YouTubers or other news, which Charlie is just a pro at because he's been doing it for over a decade. And that's the thing, I want to emulate Charlie, right? I want to not have to put in that much effort in my videos and just post regularly and have them do well. But his combination is that he's talking about trending news that he finds interesting, probably a lot of others find interesting. And he has such colorful phrases and and colorful metaphors to describe that would actually unlock the full potential of our brains it'd be like taking that pill from limitless we would fucking invent teleportation technology the next day so if i am to emulate charlie penguin zero moist critical then what am i going to talk about every day because i'm not going to talk about the news unless i actively look it up but then again i'm not that interested in it i guess i would just be talking about whatever's on my mind and a lot of whatever's on my mind is very personal stuff. So do I want to really spill my guts out on the internet and post it for everyone to see? I don't know if that's the best idea or if I should just give it a try and maybe it won't be as bad as I thought. One of the tips I heard from a YouTuber who is over 800,000 subscribers, pretty popular now. I just saw an interview of her. She said, just make videos for yourself. Don't make videos for others. Make videos that you want to watch and things will work out in the end. Create whatever the heck you want for you. It's okay if you don't have it all figured out yet, that'll come as you post, but just start posting for you instead of anybody else and everything will follow. And that seems like pretty good advice to follow. I mean, you don't wanna make something for others that you don't enjoy making. So might as well make something that you yourself enjoy watching, right? And, and making. So following in Charlie's footsteps, I want to do that. I feel like I could do one to two videos a day. It would be mostly like video journals, kind of like a free flow exercise. I usually script my videos, most of my videos at least. And I do like my videos better when they are scripted. When I watch them back, it just flows way better and uh, just more, in it keeps my interest when I'm watching it. So I think my scripted videos are better, but 
At the same time, I want to practice getting better at free flow speaking. So um, even in Nathaniel Drew's Skillshare course, he talks about practicing recording yourself for 10 minutes a day. For the next week, I challenge you to sit down every day in front of your camera, and if you don't have a camera, in front of your phone or webcam, and to speak about something that you're interested in, that you care about, for a minimum of 10 minutes. You must hit record, okay? It must actually be recorded. You must actually see the blinking red light. You do not actually have to edit these, and you definitely do not actually have to post them and share them online. I just want you to get used to sitting in front of the camera and talking. Like, just get that muscle going. And feel free to talk about how much you love your pets, or why you love investing, or how much your feet hurt today. It doesn't matter at all. I don't care. Just do it and make sure you're talking for a minimum of 10 minutes every day. And I'm doing that. I I started doing that last week and I've made four videos so far. I'm just making them for myself. They're all very personal stuff. Unlike Charlie, who would be talking about the news, I'd just be talking about my thoughts and they would be pretty darn similar to my video journals, the free flow exercises, except I guess I'd filter them a bit in what I'm saying. And so I'd so that it would be okay enough for the public. Maybe I'll do that. I mean, at this rate, I'm not making enough videos with my free time. I know I could do so much more. So am I gonna do this? Okay, let's try this. Let's try at least one video a day, maybe two like Charlie. No script, just have one topic idea and just free flow. I don't know if this is going to be interesting. That's the thing. It would be interesting to me because watching myself is interesting, right? But to others watching it, I don't think it would be that interesting. Okay, let's try it. I mean, I even, I even wrote this. This is to motivate me to post more often. And this is so I don't waste time. Okay, man, let's do this. One video a day, one to two videos a day, every day. Let's do this.